Hi, this is Evan, and I'll be walking you through the user side of the LRNG platform. There are two LRNG portals a visitor to LRNG.org can access, depending on what type of account you have. When you go to sign up or sign in, you'll first be prompted to select user for learners looking to find playlists and earn badges, or organization for people associated with the organizations that create and administer that content. Since we'll be looking at the user side of LRNG in this video, we'll sign into this portal. In order to create a user account, you'll need to enter a username, password, and form of contact, either an email or a phone number. Users will need to confirm their account via a verification link to complete the registration before being able to submit work. Although users can sign up for accounts on their own, organizations can also send email or text message invites to users directly to skip the sign-in process. Users can also sign up or log in using the Google or Facebook single sign-in options to significantly speed up the process. Users first land on their discovery page, where they can find featured content made by your org or search for anything of interest. The discovery page shows the user's primary network feed at the top, followed org feeds below, content interest categories on the left, and a search bar at the top to try to find anything they're interested in. Users can add additional content feeds to their discovery page by visiting the page for an interest category and clicking the follow button. Through the same process, users can also add feeds for specific organizations and custom keywords by searching for them and clicking the follow button. This is a playlist, a curated series of individual experiences, or XPs, that a user works through before earning a digital badge. Users can see their progress towards completing the playlist by following the timeline down the left side of the page. Each XP instructs the user to submit some form of work, whether a text-based answer, a file, or a web or video link. When all XPs are completed, users can send all their work on the playlist to a reviewer at your organization. If revisions are needed before a badge can be awarded, the user will receive an email with reviewer feedback prompting them to resubmit their work. All users have a dashboard page, which displays all the playlists they've started working on, as well as a repository of all previously submitted work. For each playlist, users can easily see the current status and any progress they've made. Clicking on any playlist here will take the user right back to where they left off. Users can also see any of their previously submitted work here in the My Stuff section. Additionally, users can view any previously earned badges here and share them to a number of different social media networks. They can even download a transferable badge file for any Open Badge 2.0 compliance site. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on Intercom whenever you have any questions.